Hello friends, my name is Dr. Erin Nitschke and I am sharing this video with you to talk a little bit about some questions that you can ask yourself when using artificial intelligence machines or systems to develop something like a beginner workout program for a new client. And remember that AI is a great assistant, but it's not going to replace the work that you do or the knowledge that you have as a certified health and exercise professional. So one of the things that it can help us do is brainstorm. And maybe if you have a new client and you're stuck on how to outline a new workout program for them or overcome a plateau for a client that you've been working with for a while, you can certainly prompt ChatGPT, Gemini, or another system that you use to draft, say, a two week long workout plan for a client for a beginner client, a moderate experienced client, maybe it's a highly advanced client, whatever it happens to be. But there are some questions to keep in mind because remember, AI is inherently non-empathetic. It doesn't have that human side. That's where, where you really do come in and you're able to make modifications to what that machine kind of spits out for you. So some questions that I like to encourage my learners and those I'm mentoring to ask themselves when they do get a result from ChatGPT or something like that is, does it align with the client's goals? For a program to be quality, it has to reflect the goals that the client has. So does it really align? Because it's going to be a very generic printout or outcome for, based on the prompt that you give it. So the other question that I like to ask is, is it suitable for the level of experience the client has? What about exercise form and safety? Can the client safely perform all of these exercises with correct form based on whatever physical limitations they have? Another question that I like to ask is really related more to client-centric focus because again, AI is a non-empathetic tool. It doesn't know your client like you do. So a couple of other questions to ask. Specifically, does the workout incorporate the client's preferences? Because if you were to just prompt it, create a beginning resistance training program for a client this age and this experience level, but what about their preferences? What about something like, what equipment do they have access to? Because if you're training them virtually, that's going to matter. The other client-centric question to ask is, what about motivation? Will the workout be motivating and engaging for the client? So you kind of have to assess those things. And then is the workout enjoyable? That connects to client preferences. So thinking about using AI as an assistant is a great way to help you brainstorm, and I definitely encourage it. But when you do get that result, comb through it and ask yourself about the safety. Does this make sense? Does the order of exercise make sense? Is it client centric? And make modifications from there. And then before implementing it with your client, sit down and have a conversation with your clients about does this make sense? Is this something you want to engage in? What do you like about it? What don't you like about it? And you can go from there and make the necessary modifications. But definitely use AI as your assistant. It does have great, great capability that we shouldn't overlook and we should really incorporate what it has to offer in our daily practices. It just should not replace our daily practices. So keep in mind some of those questions and some of those things to think about when you are evaluating that particular outcome from a prompt that you have put into AI. Is it client-centric? Is it considering my client's goals, preferences, needs, and abilities? I hope that you found that helpful.